don't feel right, minerals are missing. Now, minerals are more important than vitamins. Vitamins are required for activity and processes in the body, but each vitamin requires a mineral to work because every vitamin has a mineral center. Now, many people take multivitamins every day, but a lot of people are missing minerals. And minerals are inorganic compounds that support life processes. So they act like mortar and bricks of our body. All body processes are dependent on minerals. And there are two classes of minerals. There's big minerals and little minerals. The big minerals we call macro minerals like calcium and other macro minerals are like potassium, phosphorus, chlorine, magnesium, and sulfur. And then you need micro minerals, things like zinc, copper, manganese, iodine, chromium, molybdenum, selenium, and vanadium. Things like getting vegetables and fruit to the market. Sometimes we have inappropriate farming practices. It's a lot better if we have organic or locally grown foods and vegetables. Pesticides and soil health have all changed the food content. And also many people have sick stomachs and they can't absorb the nutrients. It's not always what you're putting into your system, it's what you're absorb. And there's certain minerals that interfere with each other if taken at the same time and in the same instance like calcium and iron. And other minerals need each other to absorb, like potassium and sodium. So minerals are like the glue or the brick and mortar of the body and they serve the important building blocks for bones, organs, and tissues. And they're really important for cofactor for enzymes, hormones, and vitamins. And when we eat food that has minerals in it, the body uses minerals for bones, for vitamins, for the transportation of signals from the brain to the body, and the body to the brain. And so minerals are the conduit of life. Because minerals are required for vitamins, protein, enzymes, amino acids, carbohydrates, fats, and sugar, when you're not getting enough minerals, you get sick. It's said that 80% of health conditions can be traced back to a mineral deficiency. So here's a quick summary on minerals. Sodium helps regulate water in the nervous system. Potassium controls water, regulates cell pressure and the nervous system. Calcium builds bones, it regulates muscle contractions, and it's critical for the immune system health. Phosphorus is for energy, fat, protein metabolism, and it prevents sticky blood cells. Magnesium stimulates enzyme activity, muscle health, and smooth muscles. Iron's really important for the blood oxygen transport. Copper's for connective tissue and blood clotting. Zinc's for insulin wound healing, immune system, and sex hormones. Manganese is so important for ligament health. If you have chronic sprained ankles, or you can't hold a chiropractic adjustment, or you're always stretching the ligaments, you have a manganese deficiency. Iodine is important for thyroid health, immune system, and has anti-cancer properties. And selenium reduces toxicity, connective tissue, and reduces heavy metals. So to summarize the video, minerals are essential for health. Most people are not getting enough minerals and its effects on their energy, vitality, mental focus, and hormone production. Minerals are more important than vitamins. If your health is not where you need to be, then you should supplement with a high quality mineral formula. And then everybody asks, how do you know if it's a good mineral formula? It's a simple test. Stop taking the mineral formula. If you notice a change in your health, then you have a good supplement. If you don't, then it's time to change. If you'd like a done for you supplement that has all your minerals and the cofactors, please reach out to us at 208-232-3216 or just email us with minerals in the subject line to info at westcliniconline.com. Minerals are overlooked. It's the missing piece in healthcare. If you don't feel right, it's almost always a mineral deficiency. This is Dr. Jason West, and I'll see you guys on the next video.